today I will be talking about five plagues that took a toll on the world. The first one will be the plague of Justinian. It took place during 541 to 542 AD. This disease was caused by Bacillus yersinia pestis. It was known to be transmitted from a rat flea and human flea. This disease can be transmitted from person to person when it is in its pneumonic form. The plague started in Africa. The symptoms included a fever, delirium, swollen lymph nodes, beside ears, inside armpits, below the abdomen, and inside other thighs. The people felt fine, and none of them knew they were going to die the same day. The Justinian plague spread to Europe and Asia, killing almost 100 million people. The second one is called the Black Plague. It happened during 1347 to 1352. It originated in China, then spread to India, Persia, Syria, and Egypt, killing around 75 to 200 million people. Some of the symptoms included headaches, fevers, boils, vomiting, and muscle aches. The areas that are swollen began to turn black or a darker color. Sometimes the toes, nose, and fingers would become gangrene. There is no vaccine for this sickness, and cases still exist today. This disease was also transmitted from rodents to humans. The third one is the Coco Litsley epidemic. I hope I'm saying that right. But anyways, it started in 1576 and ended in 1678. It originated in Spain, which is now Mexico. An indication of the disease includes a black tongue, bleeding from mouth, eyes, and nose, high fevers, and headaches. The victims also turned yellow from jaundice. The cause was never identified, but later, scientists found salmonella bacteria from the Aztec's teeth. It infected Mexico after the arrival of Europeans. The native Indians were dead within days. It killed 5 to 15 million people. The fourth one is called the Spanish flu, which began in 1918 and first emerged in China. It started out calm, but by the end of October, it claimed the lives of 200,000 people. Some of the symptoms include dry cough, fever, bloody sputter, sneezes, muscle aches, and sore throats. They suffocated on their own blood. It is transmitted into the air through respiratory droplets or touching things infected. It spread it from Asia to Europe, Africa, and United States. It took the lives of healthy individuals. At least 50 million people died from this disease. In the year of 2005, scientists reconstructed it from a woman buried in the permafrost. Okay, y'all. Let's listen to someone who lived during the time of the Spanish flu. The, the uh, flu itself, the so-called, uh, I think they called it the Asian flu, I don't know, affected the throat and the, the windpipe and chest. And he, he, he put out the word, you know, to, uh, that, that it was dangerous to being around people that with that high fever, now you'd have been very easy caught when he was at his highest temperature. And it, uh, see, that was a virus. And he, he, he'd settle. It's like his pollen that's in there now. He'll settle on you somewhere. And that's the roughest stuff I ever jumped again. He'll get me down. <laughs> right. The fifth one is HIV slash AIDS. It is a virus that affects the immune system and it is spread through bodily fluids. If HIV is left untreated, it then turns to AIDS. At the end of 2018, 32.8 million people died from it. The first blood sample was taken from a Congo man in 1959. However, the epidemic didn't start until June of 1981. In the United States, the first case was seen in Los Angeles from male-to-male -male contact. The West African chimpanzee was seen as the source of the virus. Some people say that a man slept with the chimp, 
while others say hunters came in close contact with the animal's blood. The body may feel some of these symptoms, achy, sore throat, swollen glands, headache, and fever. However, it doesn't last for a long period of time. That is why a lot of people think it is the cold or the flu. The second stage is clinical latency, or the asymptomatic stage. After the first stage, many people start to feel fine again. The third stage is known as AIDS. If your CD4 count drops below 200 cells per cubic millimeters of blood, you are considered to have AIDS. Some of the symptoms include the following. Night sweats, weight loss, chronic cough, skin problems, and infections on a regular basis. Now, there is no cure, but there are medicines you can take to live longer and stronger. Now, we are going to listen to two people who contracted HIV. Severe. I would say the first symptom that I really started experiencing and noticed was a general sense of lethargy. I just noticed that my energy overall throughout the day was declining. Um, I didn't really feel like myself. It was, but I did notice, however, that even going to the gym and trying to pack on muscle and taking protein, that I was actually losing, losing. I felt like I was losing muscle mass. I didn't feel like I was really gaining anything. Which is kind of weird to me. I also was losing weight, but I attributed that to going to the gym and working out. Symptom that I noticed was vertigo. This isn't something that I really have experienced that much in my life. Occasionally here and there, if you know, if I hadn't been eating, maybe I'm low on blood sugar or tired or something like that. It's usually random and normal. Symptom that I noticed was body aches all over my joints, my muscles. After that, I would say. Probably about a year out from my diagnosis, I started to notice that I was getting uh, itchy, inflamed bumps on my elbows and on my knees. If I put it under hot water, it would exacerbate it and it would get more red and way more itchy. I would take these every day. If I can go one day without taking this medication, I would be the happiest female on earth. It doesn't matter if I party all night, drink till the sun comes up, I have to take these. And I have to keep these down. Okay? The schools won't let us into the schools. They want to keep sex out. But keep in mind, 57% of our youth have already had sex by the time they're 16. And not only that, but ages 13 to 29 are accounting for the majority of the infection. And our females also, through heterosexual contact, is a majority of the new HIV infection rate. Parents, you have to speak to your children about this disease. You have to let them know it's real. You don't want your child to be sick and in the hospital ready to die. You want to be able to protect them now before they even have it. Give me information they need. To Today, we are dealing with the coronavirus. It was allegedly started in China. It began in 2019. So far, there has been 197,219 cases. 7,949 deaths. 81,683 has recovered around the world. People may experience sore throat, cough, runny nose, pneumonia, fever, and difficulty breathing. The virus is spread from person to person. Disinfect your homes, wash hands, and wear a face mask. Avoid travel as much as possible. Okay, we're about to listen to some people that have the coronavirus or had it. The first two days are pretty grim. Uh, very high temperature, sore throat, headache, uh, feeling like the flu, but much worse. And, and the, these two days have been just gentle recovery. Uh, as I, as I said, as if I've just been running a marathon, uh, I feel exhausted, but, you know, getting there. And they're reposting people's personal stories. They are it, it, it feels like you've only got 20% of your lungs working. Uh, you can't take a full breath like you need to. I mean, if you stand up and go and walk into the kitchen, you're out of breath because you just can't get that breath. Um, it also sounds like you're breathing through a bag. Um, it, it, your, your breath is very crackly and, and croaky. 
um, it generally is not a fun thing at all and it, it can be very very serious I feel pretty well. Um, I never really had any symptoms like cough, a slight fever when I arrived on Friday to the hospital. Um, both of those have since resolved. I haven't experienced anything else, um, so I'm very thankful for that. As you can see, plagues are real, and they have been happening since the beginning of times. Whether it's God sending them down from heaven, aliens, or war tactics, be safe, and please or bye bye all rules. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Until next time, bye bye.